again. I'd let you to answer the question. I think that's no problem at all. Yeah. Uh, so the London plan identifies that uh, the Old Oak Park Royal area uh, has a capacity to deliver 25,500 homes. Our local plan period, we believe, uh, over the next 20 years, that can actually we can deliver 20,000 homes, just over 20,000 homes over that 20-year period, which is about a thousand homes just over a thousand homes a year. As we've said already, that is dependent on public sector investment to bring forward some of those quite challenging and complex sites. We have three, we have a, an overarching strategic target of 50% affordable housing. We apply the London Plan's mayoral, uh, sorry, we apply the, the draft London Plan uh, affordable housing policy, um, which is London affordable rent, London living rent, and London shared ownership. And our, the work that we're doing at the moment is largely around how do we realise that ambition on a mixture of public and privately owned land. Um, the question's about so the tenure yes, split tenure. within those affordable homes. How, what so are the proportions what, of each? What we have at the moment is... I'm sorry, wrong, I was looking at the wrong table. Um, so the tenure split. So what we have is... If in the plan period, up until 2038, we can deliver 20,100 homes, the number of affordable, this is at, if we secure the 50% target, the number of affordable homes will be 10,050. The London affordable rental homes will be 3,015. And the level of intermediate housing will be 7,035. That's if we get to that target of 50%. And as we've already alluded to, that might be a challenge on some sites. Mm -hmm. What Thank we've you. also got is on the 35%, if we've got 35% affordable housing, what we would secure is 7,035 affordable units, 2,111 London affordable units, and 4,925 intermediate units. So in each case there, the, the tenure split between um, affordable up to the, the government definition of 80% and so proper social London affordable rent is 30% LAR. Properly affordable yeah. Yeah. and yeah. the rest are... Yeah. 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 So I've been looking at the most recent um, supply of data from the London Development Database on the approved planning applications so far. Yeah. Um, and within that, only 8% of permissions granted so far are for social rented homes. And as a proportion of the affordable homes, that's 22%. <coughs> So that's not 30% yet. Obviously, we have um, the Strategic Housing Market Assessment for London, um, which says that 70% of the affordable homes, according to the need around London, should be at social rented levels. So what can you do to, um, in practical terms, to improve the proportion of social rented homes to get closer to your target and, and to get anywhere near the, what the so Shamar says? I have different data. So I think there's a miscalculation somewhere here. So what I have is approved across the piece by OPDC is 23% London affordable rent and 9% social rent, bringing it to a total of 31%, which would be LA, which would be the equivalent of LAR. I've got 129 homes in total. Is that the same number that you've got? No, so I've got 223 affordable, L the equivalent yeah. of LAR. It, one of the schemes was previously... So that's an additional affordable. scheme that's not currently in the London Development Data to base uh, that you've added on I'm, there, I'm not sure. So yeah. we only report to the London, De uh, London Development Database yearly. Um, the most up-to-date up data that we have in front of me, which we pulled off our system, is 223 LAR social rent units, which equates to 31% of the overall proportion of, of affordable provided, and 69% of the homes that we've permitted uh, are intermediate, which right. is 485 units. Okay, that's, I mean, that's closer to your 30% target, It's at, just at over least. our 30%, um, yeah. That's useful to know. Um, what the Mayor's London plan drafts, says now is he would like a minimum of 30% social rent, um, he wants 30% at intermediate rents, and then leaves the other 40% of affordable homes to be determined by the relevant local authority based on identified need. Yes. Um, now, I think you said earlier, and it says in your draft plan, that your need assessment says that 86% of the affordable homes ought to be social rent. Um, so that's, that's nowhere near. Mm -hmm your identified need. So has the Mayor said, had any comment to make on your tenure split to improve this? So we have gone through our consultation on our local plan and, and the Mayor has responded to say that he's uh, comfortable with our, um, with our tenure split which is 30% LIR and 70% intermediate and that was on the previous version of our local plan. How our policy is written is 
30, you, you require 30% London living rent and then as exactly as you said it's 40% could be determined and our policy is flexible in terms of where that 40% is allocated, be that LLR or, or shared ownership. To come so back to the point that I made about to Tom uh, Copley earlier on it, it is largely one of we tested our strategic housing market need. Mm -hmm. So um, if I can, if I can address that point that you, you made. Um, you've got a section in your planning policies, um, section 8.19 is one of the, the commentary, um, and I mean it's, it's quite good, it says the presence of abnormal site constraints um, should impact on land values, however, the cost should not necessarily be borne through a reduction in planning obligations. Mm -hmm. Now that seems to me like a, quite a good argument for you doing yeah. better, um, particularly if you're thinking you might acquire some of the land and be the landowner who could accept a, a lower price. I'm just confused. Does the mayor accept your argument that, that essentially mix and balance um, and land value and profit should trump the need that's been identified? So I think where we're at at the moment, there's a couple of points in there. So what we're doing is firstly applying mayoral policy. So we're fully in accordance with mayoral policy. The, the policy says according to the identified need. And what we then do is you test, can you viably deliver an increase beyond the mayoral policy and that's tested, that's in the public domain, it demonstrates that there is no viability to be able to do more than that without some significant public sector investment to do that. So we're in Well that was my question, what can you do? So more public investment, yeah, will, will the housing infrastructure fund make a difference? Absolutely. So yeah. what can we you get been, more social housing? We are fully engaging with the GLA, our Homes for Londoners teams about the role for increased public sector investment into the area. We're fully engaged with MHCLG uh, and Homes England about how uh, the housing infrastructure funding and an associated financing package can be put into the area. What we want to do, and what we're very clear on, is that if public land is brought forward, so if, if we, OPDC or the GLA family, own public land in the area, there is a full expectation that that land delivers 50% affordable housing on that land, and that's what we've been testing. And you'll increase the 10-year split requirements as well, though, will it go up in proportion? Well, it would, what we would do no, is... No, I'm saying, will you, will you increase the proportion? Well, what question. we would do is apply our policy, mm. which allows us flexibility on a scheme-by-scheme -scheme basis. It's minimum 30% LIR, mm. and then you can apply you know, the viability of that. But the base case is, as I said, 30% LIR, 70% intermediate. And that's, what, that's what's out for consultation at the moment. So okay, yeah, well, thank you. I'll, I'll leave it there, but I will be responding to the consultation with, with some more I mean, comments on just there. To make Sorry, a point, my time is... I'll, I'll just awesome. quickly say, having, having, made, uh, having sat through you know, a number of hours planning committee discussions, uh, the local authority representatives who sit on our planning committee you know, do make the point that they, they want to maximise yes. the amount of social um, housing. Um, the you know, we will do that the, where the, we the can. The assembly member's time is ah. rationed and she thinks <laughs> that you're using I'm it sorry, up too rapidly. I'm sorry, and therefore so is mine.